Hello, Fluffies. Have you ever struggled to pick the perfect accessories to buy to match your wardrobe or your budget? Or maybe you sometimes need help to put together a coordinate? Today, let me show you what I could do for you if you hire me to be your personal shopper or consultant. My name is Joelle and you're watching Fluffy Kawaii Joe, the channel where I try to show you that everybody can be kawaii. Today, my guest is Danielle, and she's here part of the uh, Fluffy community on Patreon. And on that, I offer a service that's called Chord With You. And we do a monthly call together uh, to see uh, what I can help you with in Lolita and uh, help you pick coordinates and shopping and whatever. And it's perfect for beginners, but uh, I can help you at any level. And today she will tell you all about this experience and we'll do our monthly call together with you guys. Okay. Yes. So, <laughs> Danielle, <laughs> can you please um, introduce yourself and tell me about your journey in Lolita? Hi. Yes. So my name is Danielle and I live in the United States and I have actually always loved Lolita fashion since I was like 13 and 14. So I discovered Lolita fashion around like 2005, 2000, maybe like earlier on. There was a magazine that was um, being printed at the time called Shoujo Beat where okay. they will show like um, shoujo manga and they had a section talking about Lolita fashion and when I saw the the style I was like so blown away because it was so beautiful it was so elegant and I knew one day I wanted to try to fashion and so ever since then I've just been educating myself I've just been learning about the different styles and and watching you know YouTube and everything and and finally, um, as of last year, I started getting like my first pieces and everything, and now I'm here. <laughs> Yay! Yay! So, what made you jump from just admiring to deciding to wear it yourself? What was the moment that decided that made you? Definitely, definitely one of the major like obstacles I faced was like, um, so I'm 30. So, like two years ago. Um, I just had a like this kind of complex of, you know, am I too old to wear this fashion? You know, should I, you know, maybe I should, you know, not try it. But, you know, with a lot of reinforcement from um, a couple of um, couple of friends that are in the community and, you know, also watching your videos as well, it definitely gave me a lot of inspiration and just letting me know like, hey, you know, it doesn't matter how old you are, Lolita does not have an age and you can try it. And so that just gave me the boost to say, hey, you know what, I'm going to do this. And now I'm wearing a fashion and I feel so wonderful. Yay! I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy when it happens like that. And so, mm -hmm. yeah, perfect embodiment that everybody can be covered. Yay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so um, we've been working together since December. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you tell me how it was for you to do this chord with you and mm -hmm. how was your experience? It was just, you know, ever since December, it's just been absolutely wonderful. You have been so helpful to me and you definitely have <laughs> given me um, a lot of direction as of, you know, like, hey, you know, you can try, you know, this blouse or, you know, you can, you know, in the future, if you want to you know, get other pieces, you can, um, from there, be able to change things up. And, you know, also learning that it's good to wear a JSK because it's more versatile versus wearing an OP. And, you know, you just gave me, just kind of gave me additional knowledge that I didn't even know about. And, and also just kind of showing me some other pieces I can order. And from there, it, it's just been such a great help for me and a lot less stressful <laughs> when I'm not, when I'm doing it on my own. Awesome. I'm so happy that I could help. So yeah, we talked about a lot, like uh, you can show it later, but the shoes you picked is perfect for this dress, but mm -hmm. it would be so difficult to get another dress to match those shoes. And so right. we talked about if you would go with the, this color shoes or blouses, mm -hmm. then it could go with more dresses. And uh, yeah. at the start, <laughs> it's easier to get like basic colors and things to, mm -hmm. yeah, to start together. Okay, so let's mm -hmm. actually go um 
start today is actually a big day because this is the first time that you uh, put together your whole coordinate and yes. I'll see you in video actually uh, okay so you've been sending me pictures of everything that you bought right and and now I see you wearing it all and you're amazing and so yeah later Thank I want to see you all together but I see that you have an issue with your, your head yeah <laughs> okay it keeps wanting to fall off <laughs> what can we do with this okay are you wearing your uh, natural hair or is it a wig Oh, it's actually um the wig okay. that I ordered. Yeah. So I think with the wig, it's better because you can uh, more easily, it depends if you have really um, thick hair or my my hair is so thin that nothing mm -hmm. would stick on it, you know. So the best thing you could do would be if you find those alligator clips, you know, which ones I'm talking about. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. I think it's like um alligator clips, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Those mm -hmm. you can maybe... Um, pin them. If it's really something that you need to stick, you can maybe go from the back or something like pin definitely like the yeah, details of the bow. Uh, yeah. Usually people do put the, um, uh, but they're big and you need to ma make sure it's hidden. So I don't know if it's possible, right. but usually people put bobby pins. But I oh, tend yeah. to feel that you have to put like so many in all places yeah. to make it stay and <laughs> sometimes that's good because you if you have a wig you can make it go through the wig and through the um, uh, like wig cap and so it mm -hmm. stays very well on your head whereas it's only on your hand on head it's maybe difficult but yeah yeah i will definitely try and uh, at least pin like two in the back or something or even like maybe sometimes what i do is that i use other accessories like for example this one if this was bothering me i would mm -hmm. use this to put it in place where i want to and then i don't even oh, need to have okay. other things and if it, also if my wig is like sometimes sometimes if a wig is a little bit um, heavy and falls back or something. Mm -hmm. I just instead of pinning this inside of just like clipping the hair, I go through. Just be careful not to hit your head, but go through oh, and yeah. until I find like the the uh, wig cap under it, and mm -hmm. I stick this through my uh, wig and wig cap. That way, it helps sticking it all together. So maybe that's you can use that. Yeah. Oh, do, do you want to try to do something now uh, with it so it doesn't fall all the time, or you can just go with it? I'll definitely try it after because I don't. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't have my body. <laughs> but now, also, it looks super heavy, and so mm -hmm. um, I guess if right now maybe you're uh, facing a little bit downwards, but if you go to an event mm -hmm. whole day, you have to be sure it's really well seated on your head because you right. will get so much frustrated every time you will reach for your bag and your head will fall or something. So yeah, <laughs> be sure to leave your house and you, you do like this something like you really you test out that it's not falling. Um, yeah. So then you're comfortable and good to go for the whole day because sure. then it's a, also your wig. I don't know if. Um, for example, I, if I put just a wig cap by itself on me, it will just go up here by by like two minutes. So I just put some um, hair mm -hmm. clips, I don't know, uh, four of them, like one here, one here, one here, one here. Mm -hmm. And so then it, it sticks the wig cap to my hair and then it's easier to, and it doesn't move because that's the worst for the whole event when your wig is, you know, like losing oh, yeah. or something I had it. Yeah. Okay, so can you show me all the tiny accessories that you have and we can talk yes. about it? Yes, okay. so I got this, um, now the biggest regret is when I ordered, I got the uh, Crystal Guardian dress from Hanoli. Mm -hmm. I accidentally did not order the headpiece for it, so that's a big beginner's mistake. So make sure you get all your pieces. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I think it's more expensive to get everything, like maybe the socks, definitely the head bow, yeah. I think. I never really buy things new, but that's my tip. If I get the chance, I buy the head bow. Mm -hmm. Then you can always change it for something different. But if you want something that you're sure it goes with it, take mm -hmm. the head bow, even if it's more expensive, because then hunting it later, it's so difficult. So buy the oh, head Oh, absolutely. Bow yeah. But this one, it looks amazing. I think at the pictures, it looks a different tone of purple. 
yeah but here like that it looks good so i think depending on the light it looks amazing and has yeah, the same uh jam here and here and the poles mm -hmm. i think it's perfect you nailed it so okay where did uh, you get it you. from so um this head bow i actually found a setter um seller on etsy that makes um you know larger head bowls smaller bowls that resemble close to the dress that you have or um or maybe not like based on an actual dress, but they did such a good job with this one because I told them, hey, can you, you know, I sent them like a reference picture of the prints and then they actually were able to match the purple and have the center jewel, actually, which is really close to the jewel that's on yeah, my dress. Yeah, it looks so. so much like it. So she yeah. made it custom for you, like she had a base yes. and then you picked the color and everything or even the shape right. and everything. Mm -hmm. so she did it from scratch for you really? yes that's mm -hmm. amazing yeah yeah yeah. give me the link right. and uh, i will put it in yeah. the description it's really nice i oh, think you Good. and then also um somewhere in these little stars that have the wings on them i actually mm -hmm. got them from i went to a convention two years ago and there's a person called a gato designs they make enamel pens they have um lolita accessories and they're actually um they actually have so much great stuff. So out of random, I actually picked these up. And then maybe like a couple of days ago, I was looking at, you know, to see if I had a little extra stuff. And apparently this actually worked perfectly with my cord. Yeah. So I got that. And there's um, another seller that I got this beautiful star clip from. They have so many of them in different colors. They can custom make them. And then I have my wrist club, wrist clubs as well. They're also from Etsy. I know that the store's in UK, and okay. I'll also send that information there as well. And then I don't have my necklace on at the moment, but um, actually got oh, it's this. Oh, so pretty! Thank you. I got this a couple weeks back at another convention I went to, and my friend owns a shop, and she makes the cutest accessories that can go with any J fashion, any kawaii style. So I got this from her and it was great. <laughs> and actually, since I have blue on my dress, which we'll, we'll see it later. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I think actually, I know, yeah. Um, will go perfectly with it as well. Okay. Yeah, because what we see now mm -hmm. from you is mostly purple and black and white. But I right. remember there, there is blue on the dress. But okay. Usually I would try to add more blue if you have blue right. to match something but since it's mm -hmm. just a necklace and very thin maybe yeah. it could work well, oh yeah we'll definitely see the whole co coordinate i was a little bit afraid when you showed it but yeah remember this blue on the dress so we'll match that and uh mm -hmm. yeah all right i think you're fine I'm set. and yeah. my only question now is that is it low enough that it doesn't uh, cover this here that's such a good question um i actually I try to set it up. I don't have a mannequin, which I need to get one. Okay. Um, it hits like lower, so it can go underneath here. Oh, excuse uh -huh. me. <laughs> It'll go underneath okay. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Yeah. That actually um. It would out. be awkward if it's like here. Yeah, like if it covers oh, like yeah, yeah. this part. Yeah. Oh, what you can do is you can always like open it and add some extra length or something, so it's a little. Bit yeah, like get like um. We call it the Astra necklace chains. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, the one cinder. that is longer, and then it, you can, you know, uh, also if you get that and you make it the extension, usually you can get those that uh, has all the holes, and that you can actually you have a hook on one side and like a chain on the other, and the start right. of the chain has a bigger one, so you can make it like the tiniest or or yeah. do it like the longest. So if you open it like that. You yeah, can, absolutely. You know, I attached that to that, I guess. And that way it's oh, another... more like mm -hmm. you could make it uh, high if you need to or longer if you, yeah. You know. Yeah. Actually, a um, really cool thing is like um, when I saw my friend's booth, she actually had it two colors. She had a purple one and a blue one. Mm -hmm. So my friend Jamie, she wanted the purple one. So I was like, hey, you know, we can match. 
you know, I'll just have the blue one and she'll have the purple one. So I was like, hey, it works okay. out because I still have that color in the dress. So Yeah, yeah, I think so. But then yeah. at some point, you do, if you want to play more with it, you can uh, mm -hmm. maybe add uh, maybe tights in that color or a clip or the wrist caps. Oh, yeah, something. absolutely. You can, yeah, definitely. And then the other accessory, this is, um, looks like a little, um, you know, magical girl wand has a little pad on it but kind of kind of works so with the whole thing because no yeah mm -hmm. you you were afraid of the bat is not in the theme but I yeah see <laughs> that and the colors are so perfect exactly the same and uh, mm -hmm. since the jewel is also perfect so i wouldn't worry too much about the bat because it's also black it would if it was like orange or something you know it's not too halloween right no it looks amazing and I was actually telling you, oh, I know, I have, I know this shop that have those, and you had it. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> it's because so when you, yeah, because when you mentioned, it, I was like, oh, I actually, I actually bought from the shop. So yeah, I got this um, from that shop that you mentioned, and actually, it works perfectly because, like, at the bottom of the dress, it has you know magical girl wands on it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that works perfectly. <laughs> And is it a, a brooch or a clip or? Yep, it's actually a brooch. It um, okay. it's like a clip. Yeah, so it's pretty much like a regular like a clip pin. on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amazing. It's so pretty. Yeah. yeah um, and then um, you're waiting for your tights. Yes, waiting for my tights to come. That it's been a long wait, but it should be coming tomorrow because it's this at the post office and is ready to be delivered, which okay. I'm really, really excited about. <laughs> and uh, how are they? Is it, are they just black or which? They're actually um, black. Um, okay. Solid black color. Solid black, okay. And like mm -hmm. a little bit transparent or like uh, very thick? Or... Yeah, it's actually ordered too. I ordered like a, just a solid color and then I ordered a transparent pair as well. Okay, perfect. So then, yeah, mm -hmm. you're good. And so, yeah, it will go with a lot of things. And since the dress yep. is very busy, I think you don't need too much of a... It's difficult to match a pattern mm -hmm. on the tights yeah. if it's not exactly something from... Um, yeah, so I think you're good yep. with the black and basics for now, and then you can go buy crazy stuff later, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like as, yeah, because, like, um, another important tip, too, is, like, you know, since, you know... I'm just starting out my wardrobe, you know, I'm going to stick to like black being my basic color and just kind of building as I go. And then yeah. once I get, once I get comfortable enough, then I can start using like other colors that's, you know, on like the front of the, the bottom of the dress. To yeah. I think to. that's a very good tip because it's easier to buy everything. Mm -hmm. Like I would say black or and white or ivory mm -hmm. depending on more sweet or classic and then those are easy to go with a lot of things and so you mm -hmm. can already make more coordinates with that and then later you can buy like pink or purple blouses right. or stuff but then at the start you want to be able to wear like something with all your dresses so yeah i think that's good can you show oh, us yeah. your shoes Yes. So I actually ordered these off of my Lolita dress. So I'm not sure the Pacific brand, but um, they had like this option where um, when I first bought these, I was thinking like, oh, cool. I can probably do like a lavender and black combo. But, you know, like but the most important tip is that it's better to get a solid color because it's more versatile with your other um dresses and other pieces of your wardrobe but i just bought this specifically for this dress but yeah, no i think it like works well with this dress so yeah. that's good that you have it but then you have another mm -hmm. lavender dress with no black at all on it and so right. then you won't be able to use that unless you make a mm -hmm. coordinate with your black uh, blouse and accessories and everything right. then you can use the shoes but yeah mm -hmm. Uh, right. I think it's uh, so specific. I mean, if you're rich and you want to buy a pair of shoes for every dress that you own, that's amazing. <laughs> but that's I know, right? It's never the case of <laughs> other people. <laughs> so, yeah. But um, also, I usually say that I hate lavender because yeah. all the tones are so different. And I think yes. that's the the tone of your of the dress is from uh is it like actually this dress that i'm wearing in a different colorway is it 
this one that you're on yes. from Body Line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't yes. even think about that. Um, it's a yeah. different lavender than on the shoes, or I can't mm -hmm. remember. I think one of the lavender of your dress match the shoes better than the other one. But then, yeah, right. My advice would be buy like one color shoes that's easier to match with multiple dresses. Yes, because it will just make your life so much easier that way. And because you won't have to stress like, oh, I have just one pair of shoes and it's not going to really go with, but you know. Now you, the goal is to not not use the things that you already bought, but not have to buy a whole new coordinate to right. go with the things that you already bought. So I think that you can totally use those shoes with that dress, which is amazing. Uh, but yeah. uh, in the future, just think maybe if I buy a pair of shoes that go with several of my yeah. other dresses, then I will get more use of that. So that should, Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Can we talk about your petticoat? Tell me about your petticoat. Yes. So this is something like, um, so I would, so this is like a huge tip, you know, definitely like, I know a lot of people also say this and I actually agree. It's always good to get your petticoat first, like, you know, invest in a really good one, like, you know, classical puppet or, um, me like tea as an example. Um, so what I did, because since I'm in a crunch right now to prepare for an event in a week, I ended up going to Amazon and I ordered a petticoat. And it's called um, Leg Avenue. And I think Lovely Lore in the very beginning, um, you know, bought this specific brand of petticoat as well. So that's um, the petticoat that I currently have on as well. It's not as, it's a little poofy, but not as poofy. So I feel like I probably have to buy another one to kind of get that extra poof that I need. Yeah, I guess if you get if you get another one, you can always stack them together when you want yeah. a super ton of proof, like for tea party or something. Yeah. But then okay. if you want something more casual, you can wear the less poofy to be more comfortable. And then yeah. if your second one is like the regular best one that you will wear, then that's good too. So it's good to have several ones. Um, mm -hmm. I I have bought one from. Uh, uh, me likes tea and okay. I actually end up wearing the other one that I wanted to exchange this for right now because oh. I'm not 100% satisfied for a number of reasons. I don't know if we should go uh, through it right now. Um, okay. I will do another video for that, definitely. And mm -hmm. yeah, basically I ordered many extra layers and it was really mm -hmm. expensive and okay. I don't feel it was that poofy, even though I paid it mm -hmm. like ninety dollars. So oh wow! It's a lot of money, and it's yeah. not that poofy, and the mm -hmm. way the waist is made is not very convenient. Like the elastic is made to be relaxed mm -hmm. at my waist, so it right. doesn't like to really stick to my waist. And then you have to mm -hmm. tie it around your waist so it's tight, not like a regular That's elastic. So I think it's very inconvenient. And so I, I spent $90 and that petticoat is always on my mannequin and I'm always wearing the other uh, petticoat, which is bad, but uh, I have to convince myself to try it again and make it work. But yeah, yeah I hope you'll give it a try though. <laughs> the quality is good, but just a few mm -hmm. things that are annoying. And so, yeah. Yeah, I'm sad. But yeah, I think um, you can find on Taobao uh, petticoats that are like from 25 to 45 maybe. That looks really mm -hmm. poofy and good. And so the one that I have for the price that I paid is good. Just don't buy those uh, uh, almost flat uh, thing in tool, like two oh, yeah. of tool that's scratchy and that doesn't make anything. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And it can um, be very uncomfortable too. <laughs> definitely. And my other tip for the petticoat is to uh, take care of the length. Uh, usually yeah. you want it to be like at least five centimeters smaller mm -hmm. than your uh, dresses. And right. um, so you have to measure your dresses. If you're usually sweet dresses are like about 50 to 55 centimeter mm -hmm. length. Right. And um, if you take like a, 
classic dresses, they tend to be like more 60, 65. So you don't want like a petticoat that's 45 centimeter long mm -hmm. when you have a skirt that is actually going to be like this, this much longer than a petticoat. It will make a nice shape and then flutch and it would not be pretty. You want it to be all the nice shape. And then there's always like a um, cupcake or a line that is straight. So that depends right. on your dresses. Right. Oh, that's a good tip too. If you have several different kind of dresses, um, I would tend to have two, like maybe one um, bell shape and one um, mm -hmm. A-line, just in case. I have one dress that looks super funky if I'm not having the right petticoat. And so I tried many different ones and it doesn't work and it just needed an A-line. And so sometimes if you feel like your dress feels empty at some place, you know, because they, they, they cut it to be with a bell-shaped petticoat or not. And so if you don't have the right yeah. petticoat, it will look super weird. So. Gotcha. That, that's true. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. I just realized, like, I can't... <laughs> I can't I kept pushing my head go up throughout. That's why video. I told you. Do you want to pin it before? <laughs> I had the only downside is like I didn't like I don't want my clips with me because they're. Oh, oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. But just do it well before your convention because then you will just spend a terrible day yes. if you have to do that every time. So I just mm -hmm. remember I had an accessory that was like that since the minute I entered the convention. It was my worst day ever. So oh. be sure it's like whatever yeah. like running proof whatever you can do so yeah it's comfortable to do anything like especially if you fall down to look at some um you know vendors and then you yeah. hit peace fall that's not and i'll just like fall <laughs> yeah <laughs> so bad. and then you have to redo it because it took all your accessories together and drops on the table mm -hmm. so it's not good i'm like oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> and don't break anything with it <laughs> Because it's like the way, like, is like heavy as this is. It looks like heavy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it feels yeah. light on my head, but it's just, I think once I get the bobby pins in, I think that'll help a lot and it's going to um, keep this in place. So. Yeah, so it's, if it's really heavy, try to, mm -hmm. to maybe also do like the um, headbands, stick the headband yeah. and the bow or something, like if you can like stick it at several plus places then you're good okay we'll do okay do you want to talk about your event or oh yeah oh before we get to that i wanted to show on my bag as well yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> do that yeah so um the bag that i have I'm trying to get it's so pretty uh, cool shot there we go um it's actually from i know right i'm, I'm just coming to realize it's kind of my little thing now um, it's actually from Cotton Candy Feed. It's the um, Shiny Unicorn Star Bag, and it comes okay. in different colors. And I just happened to get black because it's um, I want to stick with black in my wardrobe. This would be very versatile, yeah, you know, absolutely. for other dresses yeah, I have yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah. I love this a lot. It, 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 the, mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, one of the great things about this bag is it's three-way. Like, you can have it as, like, a handbag, which is oh. what I have right now. You can have it as a backpack and then a regular, you know, crossbody. Really? Yeah. And it has a lot of space, so you can put a lot, store a lot of stuff in there, too. I was going to say that it looks huge. That's amazing. I know, right? <laughs> it's really And it's huge. so pretty and shiny. Yay. Amazing. Right? It's so pretty. It's one of yeah, my favorites. I love it so much. It was a little <laughs> bit expensive, though, but uh, yeah. are you happy with it? Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Because it, it just works perfectly with my dress. And um, another thing too, I forgot to mention was um, my third Hanuli dress is coming, and it's the um, it's called the Planetary Dreamer in the black colorway. Yeah, that also is star related, and it has that purple and blue color scheme similar to this dress. So I know that that bag will work perfectly with this one as well. Yes, and also the shoes, do you think they will work with that too? Yeah, I think so too, because it has, because um, when I looked at the um, print a little bit closer earlier, it has this shade of lavender. Okay, so perfect. It's actually perfect, so I can yeah. wear these again. <laughs> and so, yes, so a few of your accessories too, so that's good. Yeah, absolutely. And the blouse. Oh, show me the blouse. Where is it from? Oh, yeah. 
So this, because <laughs> like my hair is in the way. Um, so this blouse right here that I got on, and there's the button right here. I actually mm -hmm. got it from Glitter Tail, which um, you can find in the shop on Facebook. They also have an Instagram as well. And they make blouses, beautiful dresses, and they do custom sizes. So it's very plus size friendly. So I highly recommend them. The blouse is so comfortable. And oh my gosh, it just fits so perfectly. Um, the name of this blouse actually is called um, Sweet Princess. It's okay. made out of chiffon and you can actually get them in um, different colors like pink, mint, and et cetera. Cool. I'll, I'll mm -hmm. check it out. Awesome. And I'll send you the link too. Yes, yes, please send me all the links. I will put it for you okay. guys in the video so you can, uh, yeah, you know, sometimes uh, uh, in our conversation, we talked about things that she could buy and stuff and we send mm -hmm. each other links. And then I end up putting a lot of things in my own uh, wish list because <laughs> I'm showing cute stuff to her. And I'm like, oh my God, this bag is really nice. I should get it for me. <laughs> so, Absolutely. Yeah. I did not end up buying anything since we, um, mm -hmm talked but i put a lot of in my list of i should buy that i should buy that definitely bags i actually need a i need a bag like um oh. like bag and i just bought an, another one that is so tiny and i actually cannot do anything with the tiny bag I need oh. big bags because i'm always carrying my camera and uh, my gimbal mm. and uh, so i need a huge <laughs> bag in return but it's yep. still pretty all right <laughs> okay what else do you have that you ordered that is coming like do you have any um like did you buy any of the head posts we talked about or something like that? yes i actually ordered the it's the maroon one mm -hmm. and it has the um i think it's like a bird cage or a rose hanging from the end mm, of it yeah yeah, from, I remember. yeah so i actually ordered that so that's coming in a couple weeks which i'm so excited because it's so beautiful so I don't have to wear the beret all the time. I can you yep. know, be able to switch it out and it'll look really, it'll be a nice, um, you know, other option with the OP. Yeah, I think it's nice to have something else. And then if you get another blouse in that color, um, dress in that color, then you can also mm -hmm. switch. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I think there's one more thing coming. I actually bought another one of these um, star clips. Okay. Because the um, Planetary Dreamer dress actually has like um, gold, three gold star buttons going down in the center. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, so you took gold uh, stars? Yeah. Yeah. So then that way I can, you know, incorporate like some gold accessories, you know, maybe get like maybe gold shoes or you yeah. know, maybe say it's a black either way. So it can be versatile. I can do like both like a black or gold yes, um, switch yes, up. Yes. I think gold is also one of the na natural color, like a uh, neutral. Yeah. You know, so like you can put, um, for example, if I have a dress like this one, it, mm -hmm. I don't know, it's supposed to have some gold in it, like it's printed gold, but mm -hmm. if I have a, like, gold accessories it will be more pretty with these kind of colors than if i put stuff oh, yeah. on it so you can definitely do a lot of gold accessories if you put them together mm -hmm. and my gold shoes is one of the shoes that i wear the most especially also because they're so comfortable but yeah definitely um, gold shoes are amazing and, yes um, <laughs> and now i own a gold blouse from uh, lady sloth oh wow so like, do you want me to show no, I can't. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's oh. it's behind that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will okay. link the I will link uh, in the video uh, the video where I'm uh, unboxing it or wearing it, so you can see. It's like a, actually like a sheer um, oh, pretty. gold. Oh. It's so pretty. It's really amazing. Oh. It's long sleeves and uh, oh, so, nice. Yeah, it's a, it's really amazing. And uh, I jumped on it when I saw it because you never find any gold blouses ever anywhere. So that is true. I and actually would like to um, order from Lady Sloth one day too because she has this, amazing dresses yeah. and everything. And and also the blouses like this one is from Lady Sloth and I own it in oh, wow. colors now. Like I have three colors of this same blouse and it's so comfortable. And this is a size small mm -hmm. that I can stretch up to here. It's like oh, wow. The size small is plus size. It's amazing. And so, yeah, oh, they're great. really amazing. <laughs> Latest Lost Rocks. 
Um, <laughs> do you want to talk about something else, or do you want to stand up and show me your whole coordinate? Or oh yeah, I think um before we do that, I know you was asking about the event. I was going to yeah oh yes um, of course yeah you talked uh, about the bag yeah. and I forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, Let's talk about the event. <laughs> um, so the event I'm going to, it's a um, convention called Animazement. It is in Raleigh, North Carolina, in the southeast of the U.S. It's a three-day con that's from, I believe, it's the 24th through the 26th. And there is actually um, a group that I recently joined called North Carolitas, which is... Um, they have like a larger um, Lolita community than in the South, in the South Carolina where, I, where I'm from. But um, they're actually having like, um, like an ice cream social on Friday, which okay. I'm going to be attending. Cool. So I'm really excited about that. And I think they're also having another event on, I think, Saturday in the afternoon. I think it's some kind of like mixer, but um it's really exciting so it'll be like my first meet so I look forward to <laughs> meeting everybody yay and that's awesome yeah and so that's I'm an really event sure. with sorry sorry go oh ahead. no no go ahead <laughs> <laughs> um that's an mm -hmm. event that has some lolita programming or is it just an anime um, um convention where loritas go to or there is there any fashion show or lolita content in that Yes, so it's basically, yeah, so it is an um, anime convention, um, and it's just um, usually a great event that, um, that the Lolitas in our community can go to and meet up, so it's, it's really great. Okay, that's very yeah. nice. We have a lot of um, anime convention, and we just end up to randomly meet each other, like our friends together, but we never do a group oh. thing to go to a convention, so that's a little bit sad. Yeah, do you want to talk about something else? Um, so I think overall, um, oh, I guess I can show my cord. Yeah, it's um, real cord in it. Okay, here we go. Oh, yay! So I don't have my tights on, I do apologize, everyone. Um, and my shoes, but um, so this is the full dress, um, and it's so pretty too because it has the um, the teal, the white, and um, the purple. And of course, um, it has the little jewel effect, which kind of matches the head bow a bit. And Absolutely. I, so my favorite part of the dress, definitely, because I am a huge fan of Magical Girl series. I love the Magical Girl ones of it. So I love it so much. So it's definitely one of my favorite dresses that I have at this moment. It's, it's really cool. pretty. And since there's so many different colors, it mm -hmm. might be easier to coordinate because you have more options to find oh, yeah, something absolutely. in your wardrobe to match it or then sometimes it's harder to to do something but since it's all black i think you can definitely do black and some other accessories mm -hmm. but in the future you can have a lot of fun with coordinating that dress you can coordinate it absolutely. with pink with uh, like this um i don't know if it's sax blue or is it like yeah it looks like a sax blue doesn't yeah. it yeah and purple uh, or red mm -hmm. or you can really or like hot pink i don't know but you can in at some point have blouses in all those colors and make yeah. really different coordinates with that and uh, have fun with all those colors so that's good oh yeah absolutely <laughs> i love that when it's um, leaves me more options to do more coordinates I love that. oh yeah absolutely and um and that's why it's just like when I first, because I know this dress, and then, and you actually ordered one too. In, yes, um, I the ordered the pink. Yay. I have Which I can't wait to see yours. Um, and because it's so pretty. <laughs> I know it's so pretty. And I was looking at all the colorways and I wanted that dress. Uh, especially, I wanted to buy a dress from Hanuli before she. Um, finishes yeah. selling. Mm -hmm. uh, because I know her personally and uh, I wanted to support her. And I looked at all the colorways and I thought this pink one would be great. And that's actually my first ever pink dress. So oh, I'm wow. looking forward. Yeah. Hey. I, I wear a lot of pink and accessories of pink, but I do not own any pink dresses. So oh. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. And then we I can twin. Nice. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I love that. <laughs> I hope that at some point we can get to meet each other. Oh, absolutely. <laughs>
but the, the thing with twinning it's always i have so many friends with which i have the same dress mm -hmm. and we want to twin but it's always okay let's uh, we have the same like uh, the, the lovely macaron from uh, lady sloss for example mm -hmm. and i see my friend it's like dress. At other occasions yeah it's so pretty but one is like a tea party where we want mm -hmm. to wear a specific dress and then yeah it's never easy to find the occasion to to meet that person and at some mm -hmm. and also at the same time be able to wear that dress to that event so yeah oh, but yeah, it's always true. fun yeah I, I love doing that twinning i think i've only done it once at an event yeah oh hard. wow and we That's had really the exact fun, same dress in the same colorway that was fun oh wow so I, cool. I, I had yeah it was very cool uh i had bought it the dress in two colorways and mm -hmm. um and uh, during the same trip in japan i found the cream one first and then i saw oh. it in the, the special set in mint and i was like i have to buy it and <laughs> then i said okay let's sell the one that fits me the mm -hmm. least and the one in um ivory had like a seam here and it would oh. squish my boobs and it was really so less comfortable <laughs> than, than the other one and less pretty mm -hmm. because it's made for girls who are flat you know who would yeah their boobs would finish here but that was not the case obviously of mine. <laughs> and so the other one had a seam more like this one and it was way more flattering and comfortable so i said oh my god i'll go with the other one there you go. <laughs> so I wore it for that event and then I sold the dress. So then I used it for. So. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. You, as, as Daniel, doing that and paying for my service, did you find that this session was good enough for you or do you have more things that you want to discuss, like during the video, after the video? Or maybe we can close the video and talk about more stuff. You tell me. I just don't want you to feel that this video made you um, oh. getting less value that you should have. You know oh, I mean? no, absolutely okay. not. No, I, I mean, to be honest, like we always, I always feel like I get a lot of fulfillment from each of our consultations. And this, I think, this is really fun to do. I actually love, you know, um, you know, being able to, you know, say, hey, you know, I mean, because I've done this long enough, so I think it's really appropriate to make a video and just say, hey, you know, this is a really great because you helped me out so much. And and I feel fulfilled at the moment. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I'm so yeah. happy. I love doing that with you, too. And I would love to have more yeah. people coming. So uh, Yeah, absolutely. Uh, do you have advice for people who would be like, eh, will I get any value of doing that? Or Yeah, I mean... For me, like, since technically I'm still a beginner and, you know, you can do, I know, even though we have a lot more resources out there and, you know, we read everything and we try to, like, find our way of, like, you know, should I get this color? Should I get that color? This is really good to get advice from someone that's been in a fashion a lot longer because they can give you a lot of good guidance and also, um, just kind of helping you um, see a lot more other options that you didn't think about. So I, it's so worth it though, because you can gain a lot of knowledge and it can just really help you in the long run with future dresses and future other pieces that you get, because you can say like, Oh, I remember this advice and I can apply it, you know, you know, in future courts. So it's definitely worth it. I think everyone should do this. Thank you. Cool. And yeah, I feel like I'm more useful to share things that I learned from my own experience. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, it did not work for me well. And I spent a lot of money on, on stupid choices at first. And then yeah, now that I'm wiser, I will help people and not make the same mistake, I guess. And so... Yeah. Yeah, I think that helps more than just me sharing like the theory of Lolita and uh, yeah, if I can help you with my own experience and so that you guys will not make the same mistake as I did and save money in time and uh, look amazing quicker. That's, that's oh, yeah, my goal. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh my God, this was terrible. Okay, my first uh, coordinate was not even a real coordinate. Oh. I, I bought pink shoes because they were pretty and they were right. pink and I loved pink 
but my dress was maroon and oh. I still wore that together because I had no clue. So, you know. <laughs> another, um, another thing I just want to say too, like, um, just another piece of advice too. Um, you know, a dear friend of mine, her name is Jamie. Um, you know, she's, you know, been in the Lulia fashion, I think for 10 plus years, same as you. And, you know, she's also given me a lot of great guidance. So another thing I just want to stress to any beginner out there, you know, start meeting, never be afraid to meet people um, in your community. Start finding a community because that's going to help out a lot. And you can find some wonderful people that can give you guidance and give you tips and stuff too along the way. So that's really important. And so I hear that your friend is not very close to you, right? So she lives far away, no? Or... Yeah, that's the difficult part. Yeah, we live um, three hours apart, but I'm just very thankful that I can um, communicate with her frequently. And, you know, we share, you know, like cute um, dresses and stuff as well. And we're actually planning to twin um, later in a couple months for another event, really? which I'm really excited about. Yeah. Which uh, dress really... did, does she own? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, she actually owns, oh, no, no, you're fine. <laughs> she actually owns the um, Bunny Cinderella skirt. Okay, cool. And, in the same colorway. So we're going to twin that way and have, mm -hmm. like, you know, um, the same um, accessories and everything. And I just look forward to it because it's, <laughs> it's just, like, um, it's just really great to um, actually have a friend that's in the community that she can, you know, cord with and everything as well. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, people are usually afraid to start by themselves. And uh, oh, yeah. Should I go to that meetup? I don't know anyone. So we, when you yeah. have somebody already in it, that's fine. How did you meet her? You know her. You knew her from before. Yes. So back in 2013, there was a convention in North Carolina, um, and we went. Apparently, we went to um, a Pacific panel together. I think it was like a Lolita one-on-one panel. I'm not really sure. But um, I um, was really blown away by a court that she had on. And we, I started talking to her, and we've been friends ever since. So she's really, she, I owe uh, so much to her because she's given me so much, um, you know, beginning um, advice and, and has also kind of helped me you know, you know, um, you know, find like some Pacific brands, especially since both of us are plus size Lolitas, you know, it definitely helps out to know like, hey, you know, you can um, try using Thai Bao brands or, you know, using body line, depending on, you know, what sizes they have and so forth. So yeah, she's really been a great guide for me. And I really, I'm just really thankful to have a friend like that, that, you know, has helped me out so long. <laughs> That helps a lot, definitely. And so sometimes you're not really confident. Uh, I don't want to feel weird or something. Yeah. You have your friend and you feel amazing and you're just happy to meet her yeah. and you have something in common. So yeah, absolutely. that's really cool. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much for all the tips that you gave uh, people oh, in that album. video. It's amazing. So yeah, I hope that yeah. you got uh, a lot out, out of uh, this uh, monthly meetup. And I hope that you guys, you learned a lot too, uh, mm -hmm. and that you want to do something like that too, maybe. So go watch my Patreon if you want to do that. Uh, I will put the link in the description. And it's Danielle approved. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so thank you so much for being uh, in that video and agreeing to be thrown yeah, on absolutely. the internet <laughs> and you look amazing i'm so happy that i'm actually seeing you in person usually we do it uh, over the phone so yeah <laughs> that's Me amazing too. to see you here and so if you too would like to benefit from uh, personal advice from me for shopping or for coordinating or whatever your question is in lolita feel free to check out my patreon link down there and remember everybody can be kawaii bye